back, relax, and maybe get yourself a snack. Me and you gonna have a little chat about books. Hey guys! I am here today to do the mid-year book freakout tag. I don't think I was tagged by anyone, but I decided to do it because I don't often do tags and I like this one. So I will link the original creators down below and all of the questions. If you feel like doing it yourself, then please feel free to take the questions and go and do it and let me know. But let's get started. So question number one is what is the best book you have read so far in 2017? And for me, that is Wall of Storms by Ken Liu. I just adored this. I honestly was so shocked how much I adored it. I thought I would like it, but I didn't realise how much I was going to adore it. And it was so much, like so, so much. It was a very tight call between this and my other favourites of the year. This is number one, but only just like, I loved all of them. So it was a really hard choice, but this just pipped the rest of them to the post slightly for me. And I think Ken Liu is by far one of my favourite authors forever now, so I hope he doesn't disappoint me with book three. This just stepped it up from book one and I absolutely fell in love with all the characters. There's different characters in this, it still follows the same empire but it kind of moves the world along and we see a progression of technology, progression of the plotline, progression of years of the characters' lives and it just feels so real and immersive and wonderful and brilliant and I can't praise it more highly. I honestly love this book so much. The second question I'm going to leave this up here for because that second question is what's the best sequel you've read this year? This. Same thing. Same answer. So moving on to number three. A new release you haven't read yet but you really want to. And that for me is Tyrant's Throne by Sebastian de Castell. I meant to get to this in the month it came out, which I think was like a month and a half ago now. I didn't. So now I really do want to get to it. I would love to just complete the series and I feel really happy that I'm going to enjoy this one because of how much I've liked the last three. So I just need to like crack on with it and get into it. I think it's because it's a hardback and I just have real issue convincing myself to read hardbacks. But I'm going to do it, I'm going to power on, and I really, really love the purpley cover, and I think I'm going to enjoy the book. The next one, question four, is what's your most anticipated release of the year? I will be doing two videos talking about my anticipated releases, so there are like 28 books in there or something ridiculous, but I think of all of them, my most anticipated release is probably The Core by Peter V. Brett, because I've been waiting the longest for it, and I've loved the series as a whole and it's the final one so I'm really hoping it's going to be good and wrap everything up and I can't wait and it comes out later this year. Number five is your biggest disappointment for me, that was The Book of Bera by Susie Wilde. I loved the cover of this, it sounded like it was going to be a cool viking fantasy, it just wasn't. It was absolutely awful, it was so bad that I DNF'd it after just about 10-15 pages. It was just not good at all and it really disappointed me because the cover is stunning, the idea sounds great and it just was executed really really badly. So that was my biggest disappointment so far. Hopefully I won't get one worse than that but you never know. The next one is your biggest surprise of the year so far and for me that was actually a non-fiction and that was this one, The Good Immigrant, a non-fiction collection all about essays on immigration from 21 different authors who are either immigrants themselves or come from a family of immigrants. It was absolutely amazing to hear their point of view. It's essential reading. I've done a full review talking about this and I do think it is still completely essential reading. If you've not picked a copy of this up, you should. 100% you should. I gave it five stars. I adore it. It's in my top five of the year so far. The next one is your favourite new author or new to you author. And for me, I've gone for a slight cheat because I've read one of them before, but it was like December of last year so I'm just gonna say it's fine and that is Ken Liu and of course Emma Newman. Both of them are definite favourites for me now. I've read um, quite a lot of both of their books now and most of them were this year except for the one Ken Liu short story collection that I read last year but shh don't, don't tell anyone. But I love that too. And so yeah, they're both favourite authors for me now. I would definitely just pre-order all of their stuff and buy it straight away because I love them. So they're my favourite two 
new to me authors for this year so far. The next one is newest fictional crush which I have an issue with because I don't really get crushes on people in books but there is one character in the Split Worlds books, this is book four, he is called Sam, he's also got another name of Lord Iron later on and I really love how cute and protective he is over our main character Kathy. He looks out for her, he's protective of her, he's loving and caring and he gives her space when she needs it and he's also just super understanding and like the best friend in the world but also someone that you could totally fall in love with. Yeah, he'd probably be my fictional crush but I don't really get fictional crushes much. I must be honest. Newest favourite character and for me my newest favourite is from Wall of Storms. This is just going to keep popping up for the rest of the year because I loved it so much and that is Thera. She is a young princess character and she's absolutely fantastic. She is the epitome of what I think female characters can be and she just resonated with me so much because so many of her views on life and generally the universe and everything around her were so similar to mine and I loved that and I really connected with her as a character in a way that I didn't with a lot of the others. Like I loved the other characters but I didn't connect with them and with her I just connected. I felt so sympathetic and empathetic towards her. I could put myself in her place and it was just wonderful to read a character that was so wonderfully done and I loved that and yeah. Thera is my favourite. The next question is a book that made you cry, Assassin's Fate by Robin Hobb. This is the final one in the series, it's the 16th book. It was always going to make me cry because it's about my favourite characters, Fitz and the Fool, and it's just, oh, like I can't spoil it, but oh my gosh, things happen in here that made me cry. Not as bad as Fool's Fate, I must admit, this one behind me, the blue one, still remains my favourite of the books, but this one did make me cry. Next up is a book that made you happy and for that I've chosen The Dragon Lords Fool's Gold by John Hollins. This made me laugh, it is a romp, a sword and sorcery, a heist and a battle against a dragon all rolled into one with some really dry British humour that I loved. It was so funny and I really really enjoyed the elements that he brought into the story and played with, the stereotypes that he turned on his head and the stereotypes that he completely played into. It was brilliant and I cannot wait for book two which comes out later this year. It's going to be fabulous. I really really hope so anyway because yeah this just made me smile, it made me laugh out loud, I had a great time reading this. Number 12 is your favourite book to film or book to TV adaptation that you've watched this year and I had to think hard about this because I haven't actually seen that many films or TV shows this year but one that came to mind was Hidden Figures. The film of Hidden Figures was so so good and I really enjoyed the book from a intellectual point of view but I didn't connect with it. When I went to see the film I completely connected with it, it was absolutely fantastic, honestly a must see film, I just thought it was exceptionally good and I can't recommend it more highly. I was kind of tentative about going because I'd only given the book about 3.5 I think but I just adored the film so that was a great example of I think the film being better than the book for once which doesn't happen often but it did in this case and I loved that. Number 13 is your favourite video that you filmed this year and for me I have two and they're both actually live streams. So the first one is a live stream that I did a couple months ago now I think and that was with Mercedes and Eleanor and it was basically just us having like a Friday afternoon evening chat and doing a Friday reads but we also just went on for ages about all sorts of other topics. If you haven't already seen it I'll put a link to it and you can go and watch it. It's quite long, I mean live streams usually are, but I love just being able to sit down and have dedicated time where I can just chat with my friends about books because that is obviously a passion of mine and theirs and we love just being able to do it all together on a live stream and having a blast so it was great great fun and I loved that and then speaking of other live streams I did actually just do a live stream very recently in June which was a booktube SFF one. It was all about announcing the awards for this year's booktube SFF and finishing up the whole process for year number three. It's done, it's dusted and we're ready and planning for year number four already so that's really exciting and I loved the live show, it was a great chance for us all to sit down as judges and again just chat about the books on the shortlist, chat about our feelings, have a great time praising and criticising some of the books. It was really really good and I just enjoyed so so much having the time to sit down with them. It's really precious when you get the chance to do something you absolutely love and live streams with my friends 
is definitely that. So I, I cannot thank booktube more highly for introducing me to something I love so much don't get enough time to do but I absolutely love it when I do get the chance so those are two videos that I've adored doing and I will put links to both of them in the cards and down below so you can go and watch them as well and laugh and comment and just have a really good time with us all as well. Number 14, the penultimate question is what book is the most beautiful one that you've either bought or been gifted? So I've chosen three that I think are absolutely stunning and one of them is a graphic novel which I will tell you now it contains a fair bit of nudity so if you're not into that maybe pause it or a look away but this is the cover it's called Sky Doll and inside one of the pages um, it's kind of really about like sex and religion all interwoven together it's got a lot of action to it it's got some beautiful sea greens and sea blue tones to it that was a really naughty page so it just is gorgeous throughout but it is very adult I haven't read all of it yet I've, I'm halfway through the first volume because I had to put it down to read something else but I'm loving it and I can't wait to sort of see where it goes it is very sexually driven because it's kind of about religion and sex and how they interact or don't as the case may be so yeah looking forward to reading the rest of this and I think the artwork is incredible and two other books that I picked up for myself and absolutely adore the covers of are these two and they're both published by Tor so Tor are doing really well in my estimation right now that is Two Like the Lightning which is by Ada Palmer I'm actually literally just about to finish this I've got like 20 pages to go so I'm really close to the end of this and I'm liking it but it is weird like so weird not sure what I'm giving it yet as a rating but look at the cover of that it is absolutely impeccably stunning for a sci-fi cover I don't usually like sci-fi covers but I adore this one I just think it's beautiful and the cover art was by Victor Mosquera for this so absolutely fantastic job and then the other one I have is Last Song Before Night which is by Ilana C. Meyer haven't read this one yet but I absolutely just could not resist the cover I've actually heard quite mixed things about this book some people like it some people don't but I couldn't resist it because the cover is so beautiful it really reminds me of like Rome and ancient Greece kind of all cobbled together and I love those periods of history learning about them so I couldn't not get it and this cover is by Stefan Martineri again fantastic job I cannot praise it more highly it's beautiful so it just makes me want to read the books when the covers are gorgeous so yeah beautiful beautiful job Tor you're doing well I also think all of the um, Tor.com novellas have been really gorgeous too so they are doing well right now and then the final question is a completely unfair question which is literally what else do you have to read before the end of the year and the answer to that is everything and anything I can possibly squeeze in I have the SPFBO self-published fantasy blog off starting I'll put a link to my announcement video for that if you've not seen it and what it is and everything that I'm going to be reading for that is in that video so you can go and watch that I'll also be doing some TBRs very soon of like new things I'm going to be reading and I've been planning to do a welcome book prize project with Eleanor which is something I also have recently announced so I'll put a link to that video too so all of those books I'm going to be reading but I mean yeah there's gonna be loads of things that are not on those lists as well so it will just be a case of what happens when and hopefully I can get through all of that and some other stuff too and have a great time reading it so do let me know in the comments below if you've done this tag or if you are interested in discussing any of my answers further thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you very soon in my next video bye guys thank you for watching my video today go pick up a book then come back and chat with me again